can I add multiple chemicals to my pool all at the same time? Like, I mean, there's a lot of things you could do, but you probably don't want to make the front page of your papers tomorrow. So add just one at a time when you're dealing with swimming pool chemicals for safety. And you might be asking the question here, and it's a very valid question. Like, I pay for pool service. I watch them, and, and they're only here for 15 minutes. Like, how, how are they allowing for this time period in between adding different chemicals? And the reality is, is that it's maybe a two-fold answer. They're not. They're not really waiting, but they're also utilizing knowledge and industry experience to apply that to the situation and know what they can get away with and what they can't. You know, some of the stuff that we deal with in l large volumes might be like baking soda. Baking soda is relatively inert. It's not the most dangerous chemical on the planet. But if you're just looking out the window and you see somebody throwing buckets of this white powder around and then waiting like five minutes and then doing something else, I don't recommend to do that. I do recommend giving more time. But the reason why they're doing that is because the baking soda in and of itself is a little bit you know, less dangerous to work with. Like, for example, on the other end of the spectrum, chlorine and acid are extremely dangerous. You're, you're not even supposed to store them in the same area lest somehow one gets knocked over and, and, and you know, contaminates the other one. That's how dangerous it is. So you sure as heck wouldn't want to be adding chlorine and acid at the same time, and probably your pool technician's not. And if they are, I'd like to think that they're doing at least something. They're giving some time. They're adding one at one end of the pool, one at the other. I, I, again, I'm not endorsing that. I don't think that's enough. But I'm trying to account for the difference between the advice that I'm giving you, which is to give at least an hour in between different chemicals adding to the pool, never mixing chemicals together, never adding them to the pool at the same time. I'm trying to reconcile that and the fact that you see these people taking care of your pool, how are they doing it whilst doing it in a safe manner? They are, in my opinion, cutting some corners here because they have to in order to run a profitable, viable business. But ultimately, I would say what they're doing is not for the benefit of the pool, and it is not as safe as adding the chemicals individually, one at a time, and leaving a minimum an hour in between. And of course, there's many different chemicals that you could be talking about here. I'm just talking about a minimum amount. I can't think of any two things that I'm adding to the pool within one hour of each other. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.